Yo, what's up, guys? So we finally made it to Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. We're yes. Here. Let's go explore. Let's go eat. <laughs> Yo, where'd you even get a cookie from? <laughs> Welcome to Hong Kong Airport. So we finally made it to Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Yay, we're here. Crazy ceiling. So it's our first time in Hong Kong. Never been here. It wasn't too hard to get here. Only a four hour trip from Singapore. And we are ready to travel to the city and get some food. Uh, we need to shower first because we both smell yeah. really bad. Dressed, <laughs> very touristy. Yes. We're matching. Is that something Hong Kongers would do? So let's take a taxi and get to the city. Yes. See you guys there. Oh, girl, what is that? The Will You Eat With Me merchandise. Babe, did you know there are three types of taxis you can choose from in Hong Kong? Like a red one, a green one, and a, uh, I think a blue. Really? And they take you to different territories, but we want to go for the red one. The safest bet is to take the red taxi, all right? It'll take you straight to the city. I think, I don't know, I just, I, I just got here. I love how the luggage bags do not fit in the boot, so it's hanging on by a piece of string. Okay, not a good start to our trip. We got scammed, I think. We came to our hotel in Hong Kong and we booked through TripAdvisor, a website took us to hotel quickly. Do not use this website, it is terrible. The worst thing we've ever used. And basically what happened was three days ago, they canceled our booking and left us stranded in Hong Kong with nowhere to stay. So we had to pay for this room at a very expensive price um, because, you know, it's the day of arrival. Tried the call, hotel quickly, their call center, all just dodgy, dodgy shit. We had to pay about double the price, almost had nowhere to stay. But, you know, we're not going to let this bring us down. Be careful when you're staying and booking for hotels. Always double check if the websites are reliable. There are a whole bunch of forums. You guys can, uh, yeah, you know. It's a gloomy day in Hong Kong right now, but we try not to let this bring us down. Let's go eat and explore, guys. Whoa! So, sad, sad girl. Yo, she's actually a seaweed. Look at her. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna forget about the whole scamming problem that just happened. Um, we can always make money. We just have to work harder. Yep. So let's not worry about money. Yeah. And Let's just forget about that. Let's explore Hong and Kong and have fun and show yes. the viewers what they want to see. Yes. The food. Yay. Let's go. That's how we I do it. I have to dry my hair first and then we'll go. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yo, Hong Kong is so busy at night. Look how lively this place is. So we're finally, finally exploring Hong Kong. Spent the last few hours contacting my bank, sorting out all that, but it's all good now. I'm so excited to check out this place because my childhood was all about Hong Kong films. I love Jackie Chan. I loved all these movies, Stephen Chow, a comedy legend and all the gangster films too. So to be in Hong Kong right now, it's just blowing my mind. So babe, where are we eating now? So our first meal in Hong Kong is Yum Cha. Yum Cha. We have to try the dumplings here. It's in Sim Sim I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, there. but let's go. Let's go. Dumplings in Hong Kong. I can't wait. This is where we eat in. What is that? 
What is that Rick and Morty shit? First meal of the day to drown my sorrows of all the unfortunate events. I'm so ready for yum cha, one of my favorite things to eat and this place looks so good. Look at this, look at this. What kind of yum cha is this? They got eyes. So the reason why I chose this place is because their dumplings look very cute. Oh, is that? Not because of the flavor, but because but they're cute. Let's go. <laughs> Let's meet and yum cha. Okay, so here's their menu. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> are we are you sure we're at a yum cha place right now? Because this is the weirdest yum cha I have ever seen. Well it's called yum cha, isn't it? Oh, sti another sticky page. It's part of the experience. I get it, guys. I get it. You it's know. Part of the experience. It's so good that you just can't control yourself. Oh. It looks like dinosaurs. They've got a very easy ordering system here. Basically, you just tick what you want. So I was like, this is like $59. This is like $49. And I realized it's in Hong Kong dollars. So 100 Hong Kong dollars is 18 to $19 Australian. Forgot to mention this before, but the taxi ride cost about 50 Australian dollars. And it took us 30 minutes from the airport to get to the city of Kowloon. Kowloon? Kowloon. 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 There are definitely cheaper options to get yes. to the city, like the MRT or even a bus, but we couldn't resist, well, I couldn't resist those red taxis. By the way, babe, how much Cantonese do you know? Because everyone here speaks I Cantonese. Zero. <laughs> zero Cantonese. My Cantonese is very weak. My whole family actually speak Cantonese except us. We speak Vietnamese. But um, I know some phrases from Stephen Chow movies like First we have the pork and shrimp wontons in some soup Alright, first I'm gonna test out the soup It tastes like Chinese ramen, like you know those two minute noodles That flavouring, but like in a good way Oh my god, I get exactly what you mean. <laughs> it's like you're eating that sesame oil two minute noodle packet. Yeah. Now to try out the dumpling. Well, the wonton. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. It is so meaty. It's just got one tiny layer of noodle in it. It's like a big meatball. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. That is so juicy. So many good flavors. What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny? Look at it! Oh! And look at the piggy one! What is this? This is so cute! They're such weird bows! I love it! So you've got the barbecue pork bun, hence mm. the pig. Yep. And then you've got a custard bun, hence the alien eyes. <laughs> alien eyes means it's custard. Yeah. Cool. These little three piggies are going straight in my belly. I also ordered this shrimp seafood rice. It looks really good. And it was recommended. It's got like little fish eggs in there, spring onion, anchovies. Mm. That's clean. I like that. Not overly flavorful, but a good fried rice. It's time to eat the orange alien. The alien. Oh, yeah. it's so squishy. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really squishy. It's like super squishy. It looks hilarious. Super squishy. <laughs> so bouncy. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Oh. Wow. That looks like liquid gold. Yum. Now it has one eyeball. It seems like a dessert one, but let's see how we go. Oh, it looks hot. How's that? Yum. Is it? Yum. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> the custard is so good. Yeah? Custard is so smooth. It's not that thick custard you usually get in the white custard buns. So this is really good. We also have our dandan dan noodles and a chicken cutlet. That looks so good. <laughs> but first, let's puff and puff these piggies. These buns are the fluffiest thing ever. Look how bouncy that is. I could 
sleep on this thing. It's like Totoro's belly. It's pretty cute. I kind of don't want to eat it, but you know. <coughs> That's pretty damn good. Mm. I feel like in Shaolin Soccer, when he goes to the bun store for the first time and he just, bam, eats it. Every time I watch that scene, it is so, makes me so hungry. It looks so delicious. And now I totally understand why, because he's eating buns like these. Maybe not. Noodle time. So this is their plain egg noodles with a fried chicken chop. I have a feeling it's that oh, yeah, noodle it's, one. I think it's the exact same <laughs> as that soup over It's there. that delicious Hong Kong MSG. I really like the texture of the noodles. It's not too soft and it's not too hard. I'm gonna try the chicken. Look at that. That's a huge piece of cutlet. <laughs> Good chicken? Can't go wrong with fried chicken now. We're just gonna eat now. I'll see you guys outside. That was a pretty good meal, I enjoyed it. Yes, it was good, but mm. quite expensive. Yeah, it was about yeah. $70. Listen, a lot of food in Hong Kong is expensive. Everything is kind of pricey here, to be honest. Not bad for a first meal. If you yeah. want to go to the most Instagrammable yum cha and eat those bloody things, then come down. It's yeah. not too bad. God, so creepy. Oh, is that me? Hey, oh, it's you. <laughs> Yo, tempered glass here is less than four dollars, so I'm gonna have to bring at least ten of these home. And I also got an SD reader for look at that, less than six bucks, babe. Tony's bamboo, very strong. It's like that um, rush hour scene. Yeah, that's where I got it from. The that's where I got it from. Yeah. So we spent the last two hours at the laundromat. Oh! Good morning. I fell asleep. I hope you're ready for a huge day in Hong Kong. We have so much planned. So Hong Kong, beware. It's very busy. A lot of cars. A lot of beeping. It's noisy. It's quite smoggy. The sewerage is quite smelly as well. So be ready for that. It's not too bad though. And most stores open up between 11 to 12. Not early people Hong Kong. It's all about the nightlife. Hey, it's your favorite store. What's up? Look, we're matching today. Yay! I got one heart and he's got two hearts. This is him and this is me and this is me. Yay! So we're having breakfast at the Kemwa Cafe, which has a really nice pineapple butter bun and milk tea. This was recommended by a fan on Instagram. Shout out to Davey. Let's get some breakfast. It's all in Chinese and I don't know what to say. So what are we ordering, babe? Okay, so we're getting the most popular thing here, which is a pineapple bun with butter. Yep. And we're also going to try bread with condensed milk and butter, because I want that. Ooh. And also an iced milk tea. How about an egg tart? You love egg tarts. Oh yes, and of course the egg tart. Uh, how could you forget egg one of your favourite things? And we're also, also yeah. <laughs> we're also sharing a table, so yeah. we're sitting opposite two people right now, it's which so is really cool. strange. Right there. Because <laughs> you never get that back at home in Australia. They never put you um, on a table with someone. Else. Right? It's yeah. So we're making friends already. So our breakfast is finally here. I want to try the bread with condensed milk and butter, and that's mm. literally what it is. Okay? <laughs> it is bread. Yeah. Condensed milk and butter. And I love it that the crust is not on I know, and the bread looks so soft as well. Good. Guys, I love toast, I love bread, and I love condensed milk. And she loves two, carbs. The two together is just so. She just likes carbs, guys. Alright, this is what we really came for though the pineapple bun with butter. Everyone has been telling us to try it out, so. I'm gonna have a bite. Oh, this thing is big. 
It's like a burger. Okay. That's really nice. Very soft bun. The top with nice sugary coat, delicious. Just a hint of pineapple as well. A pretty good bun. To be honest, anything with melted butter and bread is gonna be good. But this especially, the top part, it's so sweet, it's so delicious. I love it. Selena loves pineapples, she loves bread. The only way you can make this better for her is if you got canned pineapples and put it inside there. <laughs> It feels so good. I think I'm already gonna love this, to be yeah. honest. It's soft, delicious, it's like soft and sweet. It's like soft at the bottom and crunchy at the top. Nice, right? Very fluffy and delicious. Yum! Cheers! Ooh, that's nice. This is legit just condensed milk with fluffy bread. <laughs> Mmm. Those guys are about looking at me. Making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, the egg tart. The first egg tart in Hong Kong. How's it? Oh. Oh. Oh, I've never tasted anything like this before. Really? It's different to an ordinary egg tart. It's got like a yeah. taste. The pastry is really nice though, but I'm not used to the taste of the inside. Let me try. Oh, wow. Well, there you go, guys. It's not too bad. Definitely come down if you want the pineapple bun. I need a credit card like this in Australia. Could you imagine how much food she would buy? She would max out all the cards. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we're having second breakfast at a Yoshinoya in Hong Kong. I know that's ridiculous, but let's see how good it is here. You getting the beef bowl? Yes. Always, every time I gotta get a I'm beef bowl. Try it here. They have a lot of different stuff here that I think caters for the Hong Kongers actually. You got skewers on rice, sumo size, probably tiny. People in Hong Kong are tiny anyway, so I've never seen that in Japan. That looks very interesting. You've got, what is that, dumplings? Some katsu? <laughs> That's massive. Let's go eat. So we're having second breakfasts at Yoshinoya. This place looks incredible. The inside of this store is massive. I really like it, so it must be very popular. So nice here. And I know Yoshinoya is Japanese, but you know how much we love Yoshinoya and I was actually craving Yoshinoya. Yeah. So as soon as we walked past it, I was like, we have to go. For everything. Okay, so that's about 19 bucks. Yes. Australian. And the servings are so good. This yeah. is the, their regular normal size. That's massive. And this is just a small that I got. This one that I ordered is an exclusive to Hong Kong, I think. I've never yes. seen this in Japan. I've never seen them okay. sell skewers. I don't know what that is either. And but there's a bowl. She highly recommended this. Let me mix it up, Lenny. Yes, please do. Ooh, at least the egg is exactly like Japan. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Good. <laughs> Still really good. Yeah. Very happy with it. Not as good as Japan, uh... though, but. Wow. Still very happy with it. You can tell the difference. I, right. can, I can definitely tell the difference. Mm. Yum. That's so good. It's like a curry skewer. A lot of nice spices. It's chicken. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. So different for Yoshinoya. I like it. Oh, wow. It's good, right? Mm. Very delish. I'm good. The chicken's a lot better than the beef. Very excited to try the rice and beef. It's so simple, yet so delicious. Mmm. Oh yeah. Still got that cheap yet delicious Yoshinoya taste and the rice is good. I feel like it's really similar to Japanese Yoshinoya. I can't really taste the difference. Okay, let's find out what's inside this thing. This little fried bowl. Mm. That's delicious. Really? What is it? It's like a delicious meatball. 
That's so nice. Wow. And taste Hong Kong in this meatball. So good. Ooh. Can't figure out what street food you want. You want to go somewhere clean, cheap, and delicious. Hong Kong Yoshinoya. See you later, guys. So, so good. So I got the chicken and the beef together. This will be delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have the Sino Center checking out some anime. anime. Oh. One piece. All these anime toys are so cheap and they're so cool. They are stuff that I've never seen before, but be careful because some of them are just imitation brands. Alright guys? Make sure you look properly at the design because they're cheap for a reason. Hey, I want this one. So this place reminds me of Nakano Broadway in Japan. There's a whole bunch of levels full of anime and other goodies. It's awesome for weebs. Make sure you check it out. It's at Sino something. Sino Center. Ah. Oh. Ooh. What is it? Games. Nice. Um, I'm not sure. Where's Kelvin? Kelvin, we need you. We don't understand. So we're currently at the CTMA building and this place has a lot more higher end type of toys and figurines. Definitely check it out. Another building with all anime and toys. Now this is Inns Point during peak hour. <laughs> what? They'll cop some more anime stuff. Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh, we'll buy some actually. That's the weirdest jewelry I have ever seen. Who would want pigs on their freaking cup? I don't know. So we are now at the high end area of Hong Kong in Kowloon. Kowloon? Kowloon. I call it Kowloon. It's K O L. I mean K O W. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. We got a BBC shirt and another vape mouth mask. Really cool if you like hype beast stuff. The store is massive, guys. Check it out. It's called Exit. And also, Hong Kong, everything is tax free. I didn't know that. So you don't need to use your passport and carry it around everywhere. Holy, big toy. Doje, doje sign. Doje, big hand. He's back, guys. In a new location. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yo, that's a lot of rice. Lang Lui, do you understand? We have a good time in a Hong Kong. I'm a, I'm a hap sap ho. Oh. So we're meeting up with Kelvin and his girlfriend Jody in Hong Kong today, or tonight. And uh, last time in Taiwan, he scared you. Nice spin. <laughs> so this is Operation Delena Scares Kelvin. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see if it's successful. Otherwise, it would just be a friendly hello. Good luck, baby. Thank you. Is that them? Is that them? No, that's not them. No, it's not. It's not. All right, we found them. We found them. They're here. They're here. They're... Is that them? No, no. They're, they're at the restaurant. They're at the restaurant. Just come. We're in the middle. Chicken. 
Three times, three times. <laughs> anyway, we're eating here today. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at <laughs> so, Kelvin, we are Max Noodles, one of the best one ton noodle restaurants in Hong Kong. Oh, really? I don't know. <laughs> they have been in business for over 40 years and they're famous for their prawn one ton noodles. Nice. Let's order. Yay. Let's get a lot. One ton One ton I got a sui gao mi. What's your order, Kel? I got. Apparently it's the uh, good one ton oh, yeah. nice. And I ask him which which one's better. One ton ho sick. Ho ho sick. Ho ho yeah. Ho. <laughs> Here are the one ton noodles. They're very small. That's tiny. Yeah, this is easy. Are you dieting? I wish. <laughs> I wish I'm dieting. Alright, let's go. Selena loves one ton noodles. Let's try Hong Kong ones. How's that? <laughs> it's so good. Much flavor. It's so much flavor. MSG. Instant. Oh, it's so good. One ton time. What's inside? Like shrimp? Yep. That's Bit of meat? Shrimp. It's shrimp. It's so small. Mmm. Good. Oh, sick. The noodles is like bouncy, chewy. Oh, yeah. Like al dente. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. How's that? Good? It's like a hakao, but one ton version. Are you Cantonese? Let me try the noodles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One ton sui gao lomi. How are the noodles? The soup is like really salty. Yeah. Like yeah, I was gonna imagine. But maybe that's the Hong Kong style. Yeah, it's Hong Kong style. Hong Kong style. Mmm. Not bad. Shang Pei. Luckily, we only ordered two. What did you get more? Yeah, I got one more dry one. <laughs> Which one? The dry one. Without the flavors and soup. Nice. Which is, uh. Wait, I'll let you know what? I'm going to use Sun's not here, you have to be sun yeah, today. <laughs> so, Kel, how was it? Honest opinion. Not too honest. <laughs> Not savage though, don't be too savage. Um, yeah. So, I can't feel my mouth. Yeah, there's some sort of like numbing agent in there yeah. that tingles like the inside of your mouth. Maybe like there's peppercorn. There you go, guys. I think the shrimp wonton was good, wonton. but it was just the soup itself. Yeah. It's a bit too much for us. And that's why there's a toilet right there. <laughs> Yeah, man. One last stop, dessert at Kai Kai. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> it's about 12 a.m. right now and it's packed in here. So this no, is... <laughs> so, Hong Kong people, they love uh, their desserts. Yeah. Uh, sweet soup before they sleep. Oh. They come here after like drinking and stuff. They will drink a lot of sweet shit. Stuff. So this is Kai Kai dessert <laughs> and they've been in business for over 40 years. Wow. It is also on the Michelin Guide 2016, 17 and 18. Well the so wonton place was also on the Michelin Guide, so you never know. You never until know. you try it yourself. That's right. You know. So we're getting the Chinese almond dessert soup, yep. the black sesame soup, sweet potato and ginger soup, and the sweet bad. rice bowl. This will be this. more special than this one. Yeah, okay. it's well known. Oh, okay. This all good. Interesting desserts. Not sure if paint bowls. Paint. <laughs> so this one I absolutely love. The rice bowl is very chewy, delicious. Very strong ginger smell coming from it. I'm not sure what this is. Walnut. This is uh, so, well, no, a clay. Can... Bit of clay. Um, this one's a... Uh... Porcelain. Next to you. Yeah. I call it... Um... Yeah. Really good. Mm. Rice. Mochi-esque texture. <laughs> and a ginger soup. 
That's clay. That's, that's dirt. That's, that's soil, man. That's earth. And then smile with your black teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Your face will be like. <laughs> the almond soup. Ooh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Tastes like I ate some sort of. Ink. That was strange. I can't say I was a fan of that one. I guess it's all mine. Kelvin loves it. He loves it. I grew up eating this stuff, that's why. Yeah. Malaysians, like, we love like our desserts. Oh! oh. Yo, that's some art, dude. Very strange flavors, but you know, I guess the Hong Kongers love it. The Chinamen's love it. Like, it takes a lot of effort to make these. Right, make it really good as well. Yeah. Uh, you need to use a lot, a lot of like. It's like really creamy. If you want to try authentic Hong Kong dessert, this is the place to go. Because All right, guys. Government approved. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.